Hey everyone out there, it's Roberto McKee again, and we've got a great video today on how we record video from our mini C-arm in the operating room. Plug for the channel, hit like and subscribe and help out our channel so we can continue making these videos. In our operating room, we use the OrthoScan Mini C-Arm, and it's the workhorse for our operating room for everything from hand surgery to elbow surgery. But it has one major limitation. It cannot capture video of your fluoroscopy images. So it takes great photos of your actual still images and you can either save it to a USB or print it out onto a printer, but you cannot save your live feed video. So we've adapted something that's used by gamers worldwide. We interrupt the video feed to this monitor and capture on a video capture box that we got from a company called Fairplay. I'm gonna show you how we do it. So if you're interested in doing this in your own operating room, you can capture great videos and then make videos just like we do. Here we have photographs of all the important things you're gonna to need to record videos. This is the ClearClick video capture box. This is a DVI male to HDMI male cable. This is a DVI female to HDMI male cable. The device does not have any built-in memory, so you can use a micro SD card or a USB-A jump drive. This is a USB-A male to micro USB male cable, and you need some tape of some sort as well. This is the OrthoScan mini C arm, and it's a great mini C arm. But it does have one problem. You cannot record live video of what you're doing on this machine. So we figured out a way to do it using the ClearClick uh, video capture box. And this device allows you to capture live video feeds to, that you can see on the monitor as if you were in the operating room. And so the way you do that is you flip this machine around and you look for the DVI cable right here. And then you remove the DVI connection. And save that cable for later. And you connect your DVI to HDMI converter to this port here. The little bar cable is to this side. You can see that if you look underneath, but just so you know which way to turn your DVI cable. And then you secure it with these little screws here, just so it doesn't fall out by accident. You don't have to do both sides. Uh, you don't have to do it that hard. Next, you take your clear click, you turn it on. A little power button here. And you connect your HDMI cable to the output section or port of the video click. Connect that to that, drop the thing, place your HDMI converter to DVI converter on the opposite side of the cable, secure that as well. Then take your HDMI cable and put it into the input, because this is coming from the CPU, and this is now your new monitor, and this will send a signal to the original monitor. So. If everything worked correctly, you should have a signal that still said for those scan, but now it's different. It has a little camera thing up here, it has the date and time, and it has several things that are coming from the clear click, so you know there's no that there's a memory stick not attached, and uh, there's a thing in the battery, um, how much battery is left. So next, you can either use a micro SD card or you can use a USB. Um, jump drive as your memory for the clear click. So you take this and just connect it. And then some of your cases will be longer, and so you need more power than what the clear click can supply. So it has a little USB power port here. Connect it. And then luckily the OrthoScan has its own USB port that is used to record if you wanted to capture the photographs from the machine, but otherwise you can use it to power your clear click. So next, we always take a clear click and secure it with some tape to the elbow or arm of the monitor so that you don't uh, end up either dropping this 
or damaging it or using the machine. A little tape and we are good to go. And your signal should be nice. If you want to record, you're going to take and push this little red button right here. And what you would see is that this signal converts from a camera into a red blinking dot. This is a video of us actually capturing some images and some video from the machine. And you can see us firing away at some needles. And this is the actual video that we captured while we were filming and doing fluoroscopy. Well, everyone, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.